Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is a smooth right circular cylinder of radius R rests on a horizontal plane and is kept from rolling by an inclined string AC of length 2R. A prismatic bar AB of length 3R and weight Q is hinged at point A and leans against the roller as shown in figure. Find the tension S yes, that will be induced in the string AC. In this problem given is a right circular cylinder of radius R is resting on a horizontal plane and a string AC of length 2R is attached like this and a prismatic bar AB of length 2R is hinged at A and resting on this roller. So in this uh, uh, problem we need to find the tension in the string AC. Let us see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see forces and reactions. The weight of the prismatic bar Q is acting vertically downwards from the center of the bar and there is a reaction in the string RC acting as shown in figure and reaction RD at D on the prismatic bar acting towards this direction and it is perpendicular to this bar AB. Now here we form a triangle ADC. Let us call this angle is alpha and this length is string length that is 2R and let us call this length is X. So from this uh, right angle triangle here ADC so at D angle is 90 degrees. This angle let us call alpha. So from this triangle we can write sin alpha equal to R by 2R that is this length is R and this length is 2R. So from this we get alpha equal to 30 degrees. So again from this same uh, triangle we can write x equal to square root of uh, that is 2R square minus R square. So from this we get x equal to square root of 3 into R. Now let us draw a vertical line here from C to E. Now we form here a right angle triangle, another right angle triangle ACE, angle at E is 90 degrees. Let us call this angle is theta. So from this triangle, this side is 2R and this is R. So let us see from this triangle here, this side is 2R and this side is R, this angle is theta. So from this we can write sin theta equal to R by 2R. From this we can calculate theta equal to 30 degrees. Now let us see free bar diagram of bar AB. So on bar AB there is a force RC is acting at an angle alpha from this bar and theta from the horizontal. And a weight, its own weight Q is acting vertically downwards like shown here. And reaction at D RD is acting perpendicular to this bar like this. And distance from A to this point of application of Q is 1.5 r since the total distance is 3 r and from a to d that we have calculated in the previous slides is square root of 3 into r so now let us come back to this diagram here since this angle is alpha this angle is 90 degrees then this angle will be 90 minus alpha and here since this angle is theta then this angle will be theta so angle from here to here will be 90 minus alpha minus theta that is 90 minus bracket of alpha plus 3 alpha plus theta so that is written here now from this triangle here we can see that here this angle is alpha and this angle is theta this is 90 degrees and we have calculated in the previous slides that alpha and theta both are equal to 30 degrees so this total angle is 60 degrees and this is 90 degrees then this angle will be 30 degrees let us uh, call that theta so that is written here now let us take moments about a a is a hinge so moments about a is 0 so sigma m a equal to 0 so moment due to q and moment due to r d let us write here so moment due to q uh, about a will be q sin 30 into 1.5 r so that is a component perpendicular to this bar will be q sin 30 and the distance is 1.5 r so that is written here q sin 30 into 1.5 r similarly uh, moment due to rd about a will be 
R D into this distance. Uh, since R D is already perpendicular to this bar, so it is R D into square root of three into R. So from this we get after simplification R D equal to 0.433 into Q. Now let us resolve forces along horizontal. So along horizontal we have sigma F X equal to zero. So since Q is vertical, it does not have any horizontal component, and R C will have R C into cos theta. R theta is uh, calculated as 30 degrees, so R C cos 30. That is equal to R D, and its horizontal component will be R D cos 90 minus alpha plus theta. So that is written here. So after substituting the values and simplification, we get R C cos 30 equal to R D cos 30. So R C equal to R D. We have calculated in the previous slide. R D is 0.433 Q. So R C equal to R D equal to 0.433 into Q. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.